just tried to park in the car park absolutely rammed so we're going to try somewhere else. we are coming by a car today there's a car park it's big and it's free however it is really busy but we have come at midday the busiest time there's also a bus station that's right outside the market if you're coming by a bus <laughs> here without getting some coconut oh i haven't had any yet. oh my god it's like a whole coconut <laughs> i don't even have to eat just like this oh god oh god very nice you like that i would do eat that is that nice we'll try some coconut 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 <laughs> Try it! Mm, I think I enjoy it. Nice bag. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this is what carrots are supposed to look like. Thank you. Does anybody know what these are? I see them everywhere here. And also, it's... What do you see? What do you say? Me. <laughs> My name is Noriel. What? Noriel. Do you like the people here now? No. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to your YouTube channel. Hi. 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 Chicken. Those two, you have the hematites. The gold one or the silver one? Why can't you have hematite on? Either side. Hematite is good for the blood flow. Oh. So which one do you like? This one? This one. Or this got the silver. Or this one's got the gold one. Which one you prefer? This one. You like the gold one over that one? What's your name? My name is No. Good, I'm Stefan. Hi. The gold looks really nice in this skin. I promise you it will never <laughs> change colour. Okay. See that? Oh, That's the stone. Wow. Gold and hematite. Worries, tensions, depressions, and fears don't stay with the person who wears a golden hematite bracelet. It's the store six to five, and you come to see Stefan. It's okay. <laughs> what did you decide on? This one, the gold. These are funny chops. These <laughs> are <a> funny chops. <laughs> funny chops. Did you like him? Yeah. What are you looking at, mate? Look at this. We use hand to keep the heat hot. And do not get burned to keep the heat. Yeah. Can I have some sand? You want to have some sand? Oh, wow. So, this is like a mix of mix, all of them? Mixed sweet, salty, and some peas. Can I try one of those? It's a sweet. It's sweet. You like it, Baba? You like it? Oh, okay. Let me see. Which one is it? The roasted nuts? Yeah. Oh, delicious. Mm. For my breakfast? Yeah. Just for your breakfast, yeah. Just had a split pea. They're all different. Yeah. So some are dry roasted, some are sweet roasted. How are your peanuts, Nice. Nice. Nice? Do you want some chicken and rice as well? Yeah. Yay. Chicken. You want chicken? None of the best. Mom. 
What's the verdict? It's nice. It's nice. Okay. Let Daddy show us some. Oh wow. The rice is obviously soaked in the the goo. The flavour of the rice alone is unbelievable. Let me have a bite of this chicken. Oh. Try some chicken. What's the verdict? Yes, good. Yes, it's good. <laughs> what? It's good dinner. Oh, we'll pick it out for dinner. No, thank you. <laughs> Rice in my beard. Thank you, Mama. Look at me, Oh, thank you. Oh. This is just unbelievable. My God. The flavour. Oh. Is there anything left on those bones? That's how you eat chicken. It's true. Is that the bone that goes in there? Yeah. Oh, chicken. Is that your chicken bone? Yeah. And we see the queue for this place. It is 100% worth it. If you come here, I'm just going to go down here because it's a bit loud. If you come here, you have got to try that biryani. That was unbelievable. That whole plate was 135 rupees. 100 rupees is about two pounds so it was just over two pounds that whole plate was so big i've never seen anything like it and it fed me lawrence and nai and we're both eaters how big nai nai how big huge huge <laughs> so here are all the juices you could possibly think of and there's something that i think is called it sounds like faluda because faluda is the Indian version but it's like a milky drink with basil seeds in it I've just read the sign it's aluda aluda really popular So this bit over here is all the food court, so there's a really nice bit that you can sit and eat. They've got all the street food everywhere. It's all quite like Indian Mauritian based food. Um, amazing. So nice. We have one with ginger lemon and then one natural lemon. Do you have this to chop up to yes. eat? Yes. Can we have some of that as well, please? Natural, right? Amazing, thank you. Look at the colour of it. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's nice. This one is, you see this? Sugar cane. Yummy. Is that yummy? Yeah. Okay. So at Carnival every year, I used to get this sugar cane, cut it into rectangles and just chew it. So good. Better than any chocolate bar you could buy. Oh, it's that candy floss. Candy floss, candy floss. Heaven. This is heaven on a stick. Mm. Oh, amazing. amazing. <laughs> oh, you don't understand. So nice. No, no. Watch daddy, look. No, no. Tastes like sweets. 
Do you? And the white teeth. Look, look, look. Oh, and the no, no, it's what's that? The The back? Yeah. Back teeth? Yeah. It's sugar cane. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Do it. Do it. Tang, tang, tang. I do want to, I do okay. like it. <laughs> So you put it in your mouth? Yeah. It's, it's sweet, so you don't eat it, you just bite it. And then the juice will come out along the back. Look, look. Now, that's what's that? Look, open your mouth. I'll put this where you should do it. That's it, bite. See? And then you, it tastes good. It tastes good. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Sweet. It's nice, eh? Look. Mmm. Oh! Mmm. Mmm. I need you right with your teeth. I try. Try. Damn. It's nice. It's sweet. Mmm. Oh, that is actually really nice. Good. Good. So, price wise, it's quite locally priced for the produce. And then all the textiles and stuff are obviously priced a lot for tourism. So, that's quite nice. Yeah. And then all the textiles and stuff are obviously priced a lot for tourists. So the hotel tip is basically try and hang on for 20% less than what they tell you. And so far, so good. That's sort of worked for us. That seems to be the, the maximum they'll do. Oh, thank you so much. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You lucky boy. That's going to be nice. Is that your favourite? So if you've watched our other videos, you'll know, look, we're travelling Mauritius. We're going to try and do it as best we can on a budget. We thought the best way to, well, give us our best chance is to come to a market. Back home, Southeast Asia, that's your cheapest produce, your cheapest clothes, your cheapest everything. So we're gonna explore, see what it offers. Apparently, Centre de Flac Market is one of the biggest, if not the biggest in Mauritius. So let's have a look. I mean, this is the fruit and vegetable. And look how big the space is absolutely unbelievable another pro tip is you see all the locals bringing their own bags here so make sure you have a bag and you can fill it up and you don't have to worry about carrying things around <laughs> Mommy, it's so here they've got oh they've got one they've got you found it look yeah. like this one look look yeah yeah that's what we were looking for yeah. nine eyes what color do you want take all i do a price for you you want a green one? Yeah. Only green? Yeah. Another yes, color? Please. Take all. How much? One, you want one. a green one? Only one okay. piece? Yeah. One hundred. No. no <laughs> Cheapest <laughs> price. No. <laughs> no. No, no. So he asked where you're from. Where are you from? From England. Yeah. Yeah. England. What colour did you get now? I got three. Yeah. So the prices here, before we came, we read some people were like, no, it's far too expensive to go to supermarkets. Some people said it's way cheaper than everywhere else. Now there are locals that shop here, so you know that does say it all, but obviously you are going to be given a tourist price, you know, obviously. However, we have found that this is definitely cheaper than supermarkets, definitely cheaper than the, the, the market shops. This seems to be the place to get fruit and veg. I still don't think it's very cheap for fruit and veg. Don't get me wrong, a pineapple's like two pounds. It's like a pound in England, so it is more expensive than England, um, but it's cheaper than everywhere else. So if you're coming and you're coming at midday, just beware that it's really busy because it's now four o'clock. It's way less busy. You can move the pram around far easier. Speaking of prams, if you come with a pram, just be aware, it is crazy to try and get past some of the things. They're a bit narrow. You can do it, we have done it. But ideally, if you have a baby carrier, ideal. Oranges and apples. Which apples? There's so many apples. Um, the green and the red one. The green and the red one? Yeah. What about this one? Not this one? No. This one? Okay, so you want green, red. Okay, what else? You want a pineapple? Okay. Okay. You see this one? Not, not this one. That one? The cheapest way to survive in Mauritius. You want this one? Yeah. It's red inside. 
So if you're going to be coming to this market, Wednesdays and Sundays are the day. That's when all the fruit and veg is here. That's when most of the shops are open. You can come here on the other days it is open, but there's not as much stuff. So if like us, you are trying to travel Mauritius on a bit more of a budget, this is perfect. We've just picked up fruit and vegetables for I would say half the price that they were in the shop, in the local market shop, which is brilliant. There's even hardware you can get here. Anything you could possibly want is here. So this will definitely be going in our travel guide. If you haven't seen our travel guides yet, they're available on our digital downloads, on our website, everywhere we've been, we've made one. And it's got all the good places, tips, tricks, everything for the area. Central Flag Market is Mauritius's biggest open air market. So although it's open air, a lot of it is actually covered. But they've got everything, fruits, vegetables, street food, clothes, textiles, souvenirs, spices, pretty much everything you could want. One meat. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, thank you. 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 you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Okay, we're at it again, and we're not in India this time, we're in Mauritius. Have a look at this. Pani Puri. Okay, after... Ah, mm. oh, you've got to try this one. I can't tell you the difference, but you can taste the difference. Then we've got this one. I don't know what this one. Mm. Mm. There's so many flavours. I know you're going to have that in a minute, Baba. There are so many flavours in one bite, it's impossible to, to, to describe it. It's a different type of spice. It's more of like a, like a habanero spice as opposed to like a finger chilli or a bird's eye chilli. It's actually got some like flavour to it. In my opinion, they're much better. In India, they actually call this place, Mauritius, Little India. I know why now. Oh my goodness, what a lucky boy. Daddy doesn't kiss the girls anymore. Don't worry mate. Put the watermelon down and go and play. That's it. All the kids are so sweet, they're all like running about and playing with each other. Daddy wants to say cheeky boy. It's a cheeky boy, is he? It's a cheeky little boy. Where's the boy go? Chasing the pigeons. Thank you, it's gone. So make sure you subscribe because our next video we're going to be showing you the beaches <coughs> of the east of Mauritius and you have never seen anything like it. It's amazing. So don't forget to subscribe because our next video is going to be showing you the beaches of the east of Mauritius which are unbelievable. Wait until you see these. <laughs> is that funny? Yeah, it's funny. Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> 
You were too cheeky, boy. You were too cheeky, boy. So, we've only been here for a very short amount of time compared to how long we're going to be here. And can I just tell you, the Mauritian people are so nice. Everybody is so friendly, goes out of their way to help you. All the kids are so friendly. Really nice. We've really enjoyed it so far. Can't wait to do the rest of the series now. We've got lots of stuff here because we wanted to come and experience the market. The only thing we didn't get is anything textile wise, but we are on a budget. So we've been buying stuff that we sort of need other than nice toys and sweets because he is, um, I'm right around his little finger, should I say, as is Lawrence, so has, has what he likes. But if you don't know what we're doing, we are in Mauritius for five weeks. So we've got a little bit of time over here in the east of the island, which is where we are now. We're then going up to Grand Bay for 11 days. Then we're going over to Flick and Flack, which is the west side of the island, which is where most people go. And then we'll probably go down south as well and see the rest of the island. So this month is a particular challenge for us because normally, if you follow our channel, you will know we like to travel the world month on, month off, which means we like to go somewhere for a month, explore it, see the local side of it, and then go back home, work, save up, for another month away basically so this month is a real challenge but it is really amazing so far so the, the first week we've been here yeah i love the laid-back atmosphere i've been in india which seems like for about six months and i've just got back from northeast india and just come in here where there's no honking it's almost a mix between india and the caribbean yeah. it's like cool cool laid-back vibe but also got the indian feel um, I'm really enjoying it really enjoying it and on the east coast it's a lovely breeze and you know I don't like getting too hot Sweaty so it's an over, absolute yeah. blessing for me market's been fantastic loved every minute of it we do love a market don't we? love a market yeah it's really serene that's what was strange is it's so serene what's that mean every, like it's very calm and like mm. other than this market is not calm but the rest of it yeah the rest of it's really, really laid back laid everyone back. just sitting on their stalls yeah everyone laughing joking it's a really nice atmosphere yeah um obviously like we keep saying in our videos everyone comes to mauritius as soon as someone said mauritius to me i would think resort luxury resort that's about it and that's what a lot of people do in mauritius but what you need to be doing is coming in and mixing with the locals now you don't need a uh to stay in a luxury resort. Oh, okay. hurry up, hurry up. You don't need hurry to stay, up. you don't need to, I'm getting it from her and him now. You don't need to stay in a luxury resort, get involved in the locals, stay in an Airbnb, keep the costs down low, and you can travel this beautiful island. Instead of paying 10 grand for a holiday, you could pay two. And be here for six times as long. And have a better time. Everyone's friendly. Yeah. Look, friendly, smiling people. Look, look, look at this smile. <laughs> it's beautiful. So don't forget to subscribe and see the rest of our, our videos because we've got so much fun stuff There's going to be about 40 videos coming your way, all on Mauritius. <laughs> so please subscribe. It means the world to us. Thank you. Nine Eyes, should we go home? Oh, have you had enough, mate? Where do you want to go? Oh, OK. Yeah. We're gonna say bye to YouTube. Say bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. <laughs>